press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, welcome back to Technoxity. This is Adnan Ahmed back with another video. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about how you guys can make an exact same, uh, what do you call, Photoshop art, that is a mosaic, picture mosaic, using Photoshop. And uh, if you are new here, consider subscribing. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get the video started. So alright guys, uh, first of all let me talk about how you guys need to prepare uh, for a photoshop mosaic. So when you zoom in uh, to a picture mosaic, uh, the normal picture mosaic, you will have a number of rows and columns. So you need to collect number of photos that are multiples of the same number of rows and columns. Because you need to have the same number of photos in the row and the column, you will uh, need to have a multiplied number. So I have 49 items here, I have saved it in a folder and you just need to organize this into a folder and then keep it ready before getting started. So I have 49 pictures ready here and we uh, you can select any number of photos but then it should be in a multiple of a square number that is 8 or uh, 9 or anything that is multiplied by itself and kept ready. So for now open up Photoshop and then head on to file and go to automate and then open up a contact sheet too. So in contact sheet 2, you need to first select a folder and then select the location where the folder is located. Click on choose and so, uh, select wherever you have placed the photos or the anything that you have named the folder that contains all the pictures and click OK. And then over here select inches, uh, units, uh, the dimensions, flatten all layers must, must be unchecked and then rotate for best fit should be enabled, use auto spacing can be enabled or left and uh, columns and rows i've set it to 7 and then rgb color and 8 bit and then the last one use file name as caption disable that and then rotate for best fit is enabled click on ok and photoshop by itself will load in all the pictures that you have selected so you need to wait patiently because uh, my pc is damn slow so you need to just wait i'll fast forward this You will need to patiently wait until all the pictures get loaded because I had used 7749 pictures here and that took this while but then if you are using more, uh, if you are using more you will need to wait for a, a longer time. So after that's done you can just see these white spaces here. So you need to get, uh, get them fixed. So first you will have to select the move tool and uh, the select tool I, I mean and then you will have to click on the auto select and then you'll have to just choose the picture over here and then it is automatically selected the picture so first before touching anything you'll have to unlink it with the mask and then press ctrl t and then it will enable the transform option for the same picture so you will need to maximize this or just fit in wherever you like and then you can adjust it by moving the arrow keys on the keyboard for to move it one inch uh, one pixel at a time and then after you have done that to all the images for so now i'll have to do that click on enter after you are, you are done with the editing so next you'll have to select the other picture and then continuously do that unlink it transform it So guys after this is done uh, you will need to 
crop this image uh, to not select the white layer on the other side that is uh, this white part that's there and before that uh, let me just go on top and then uh, what do you call a uh, selection tool and select the rectangular selection tool just select it up to this white part or just let it be and then uh, for now and then let's define this as the pattern first so you need to head over to edit section and then uh, go down to define pattern over here and then name this pattern as something so let me just name it as photo mosaic and then click ok and now this pattern is defined so for now let me open up a new file uh, that's a picture that I had just downloaded and then my own picture that I'm going to use it as the background and now after opening this you will need now go to uh, now you'll have to move on to this adjustment tab adjustment tab and then over here find uh, something that says a uh, pattern where is pattern over here just click on pattern and then scale this down to uh, 30 or lesser because I have used smaller pictures I, I need to add more uh, so 15 yeah 15 is perfect for this one link with layer click OK and then click on OK <coughs> so now you will have to click on this background layer and then you will need to uh, what you call uh, head over to this and then go to blending options uh, just a second sorry uh, the layer and then uh, go to multiply suits better but then my pictures are a bit different so these don't match in exactly the way I want so for now let me just check if there is some image that adjusts perfectly because my PCs have a lot of neon light and they are creating the dark light on it so I need to find the perfect one so for now let me select multiply and then make my uh, background as a what you call a smart object so for now click I'll have to click on this thing and then make it a smart object convert to smart object and now uh, we'll have to go to get to the adjustment tab over here in the edit section I mean image and adjustments and then uh, head over to shadows and highlights and then let's check if we can edit it properly so more options and then let's try fixing this up uh, just because my shirt in the picture is black it's causing a little bit of trouble uh, and then I color mid-tone I guess this is how the final product for my picture is uh, because that's not completely uh, clean though I can erase a few of it uh, let me try erase a tool okay let me first rationalize it or guys uh, let me just let this be and uh, when you guys choose your pictures make sure you have uh, don't have too much of light or when you're using your picture uh, make sure you have a lot, lot of lighter tones on it so that you can adjust perfectly and 
uh, because the video is getting too long i'll need to uh, stop this or else my pc is gonna die so that's it in this video guys uh, this is how you simply make a photo mosaic uh, very easily and if you guys like this video please uh, do share your opinions in the comment i know i didn't complete it properly uh, i'm just a beginner and just learning how to and uh, so that's it uh, thanks for watching meet you in the next one until then stay subscribed goodbye